Hello everyone, welcome to Logipen Solutions. In this video, you will learn how to apply a bearing force. Here we have a pulley part where we will perform a simple analysis on it to see how to apply a bearing load. Let's create a new study and name it as bearing loads. We will apply alloy steel to the pulley part. And now we will apply the boundary conditions. Right click the fixtures and go to advanced fixtures and select use reference geometry. Select this edge and axis 1 for axis of direction and restrict its translations in radial and circumferential directions. We will repeat the same procedure for the edge on the other side also. But we shall restrict the axial direction instead of radial direction. Now we will apply the bearing load. Right click the external loads and select bearing loads. In the property manager select the lower face of the central pole. In the select a coordinate system dialog box, select coordinate system 1 in the flyout feature manager design tree. Under bearing loads, select IPS units and select Y direction and apply 700 forms. Select the sinusoid distribution option and click OK. Now we will mesh the pulley. In the simulation study tree, right click mesh and select create mesh. Property Manager, apply the recommended mesh settings. Under Options, select Run the analysis and click OK. The mesh is created and analysis is performed. Now we will check the reaction forces developed at the support. To list the reaction forces with respect to the coordinate system 1, right click the results folder and select list resultant force. In the property manager, under selection, select coordinate system 1 from flyout feature manager design tree. Select IPS units, select this edge and click update. Under reaction force, note that the resultant reaction force of 700 pounds on whole model is approximately equal and opposite to the applied force to satisfy equilibrium. So friends, this is all about how to use bearing loads which saves time and effort to apply them directly. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel for more updates in SOLIDWORKS simulation. For further queries, please contact.